Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. You know, we're going to build a better world today, or at least we're building a bulletin board to honor it. And it's the board that's sitting on the wall behind me. So let's look at the parts. Up above and on the sides and the bottom, you'll see I start with the reaching arm die, which has the arm and the hands. And all of your students are going to decorate. Each one will decorate an arm and, you know, so that each one of them will have something represented on the board. Then notice that they're holding tools. These are the tools that you can discuss in class. What would be the tools to really, truly build a better world? I've used the notepad alphabet for the lettering, and we're going to look at how to add the detailing to make it look more like a plank of wood on just the initial letter of each word. I've used, instead of the O, the globe is perfect to represent the O in the word world, and then at the bottom, more of the arms and the hands. And we'll actually look at how to make some dots, how to make rainbow stripes, and all these different stripes. You'll be surprised at some of the things that you might already have around in your supply closet that can be used to make this. This is the tool set, and you can see that this was just cut out of gray, and then I cut a second one out of yellow and trimmed it off, layered it on top, and with a marking pin, just added the details so that it looked like the actual screwdriver that I have in my house. Then if you look here at the lettering, you can see that I've used the notepad alphabet to cut out the W. I've gone back with just a deeper shade of brown, and I've just added a little bit of detail. I've punched some holes so it looks like nail holes. It's going to layer on top. I'll bring it back here because what I want to do is I want to add some of what would look like the grain of the wood. So if I take just a brown marker and I use it to start creating grain marks on the wood, you can see how you're going to be able to create what looks like the beginnings of a plank of wood. And if we go back and we look up on the board, we'll look um, at that W. You can see when you look closely how the grain is created. And it's just one more element for your students to be involved in in order to create each of these letters. Now let's look at the different things that they might do to decorate the hands and the arms. If you have younger students, I think it's really simple for them if they want to finger paint or create any big design, they can use any, any tool, chalk, uh, crayons, markers, paint. And then once they have all of their paper dry, then you go ahead and you die cut it so that you end up with their design on the arm that's now ready for them to add any other detail they want and to do the tool that the hand will be holding. If you want to look how to do those rainbow, Hand, arms and hands. What I did was I took half inch strips of colored paper and I just did the whole paper in strips and then cut the hand or the arm out. You can see the silhouette here. This was, uh, this is the negative space that was left after I took the arm and the hand out that I placed on the board that looked a little bit like this. If you have polka dots, a fast way of doing that is to take circle punches and just start punching all along one of the, the dyes, in this case out of a lighter yellow, and then if you use a darker or a brighter color to sit underneath, when you layer the two together, the other color will show through and it just looks dotted, but it's quick and it's easy. If you want to look at some of the, the techniques used for the stripes, if you have any of these whiteout tools, they are great and they work so quickly. I do have to shake this little guy to get the paint started and then I'm going to just press on it and press down in order to make, I like, you know, these big wonky circles. You can do as many of those as you want. I like, I think it really looks good if some of them even go off the edge. You can have sections that are dotted. For stripes, it is not at all difficult to get stripes with the tool that is just in a runner format. And any place where you have a little rough mark, you can go back with the whiteout pen and you can fill that in so that you can have some really nice looking stripes. For the really fat stripes, what I did was I cut out a black and a white. I used my, just the width of my ruler. This was the ruler width in order to mark. Then I went through and I cut these out and I placed every other one on top of a black hand. And that quickly I was able to create the really big, fat, chunky stripes. You know what, giving your students the tools that they need to build a better world, it might just start with building a bulletin board like this.